Hey guys, this is a new series I'm starting, uh, just called Gaming Vlog. Uh, I know Kevin has done vlogs, which is kind of funny, but uh, Kevin is uh, Console Kev on YouTube, if you guys don't know who he is. But uh, yeah, so this video series is just going to be, I'm going to basically talk a little bit about the games that I've completed recently, and then tell you what I'm currently working on completing. So uh, the first game here... Wait, I'll I'll try to keep them in order. Okay, so Psychonauts. This is the PS2 version, but I played it on PS4. Um, yeah, I completed this not too long ago. Very, very, very. F I have any more varies? Yeah. So this is a fun game. It's a platformer, uh, like a mascot platformer, basically, where you also have psychic abilities. Um, the story is based around this kid who wants to be a psychic, and he has to go to like a psychic camp, basically. I said basically again. I'm thinking too much about what I'm saying right now. Okay, so he has to go to a psychic camp and train to become a psychonaut. And, um, yeah, so there's a lot of hijinks going on. And it, this the cutscenes and the character models and stuff, they really, really remind me of, like, Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network 90s cartoons. I've, I said that before on a previous video, or a video you might not have seen yet. I'm not really sure. But, uh... But yeah, they remind me of 90s cartoons, and I was really excited to play this game whenever it got voted, because it's made by Double Fine Productions, who make costumes... Woo, that was loud, probably. I'm sorry if that blew your eardrums out, people. Um, they make Costume Quest and all that kind of good stuff. But yeah, this is a really fun game. Uh, it's kind of frustrating at some times, because, because it does... It did, it did age well, but there's some rough areas, you know, just from this era of gaming. Uh, but yeah, Psychonauts. The next one here is Vanquish. This was also a game of the month. Uh, this is a hidden gem on the PS3. Try it out. Um, I think it might be on 360 as well. Made by Sega. Um, this is like... I think I explained... I described it earlier as... It's a mix between Halo, Gears of War... And like Metal Gear Solid with like a pinch of Max Payne. I know, that sounds crazy. But uh, it's a third person, over the shoulder shooter. Um, you can like slide on the ground and you can like go into slow motion and stuff, which is where the pinch of Max Payne comes from. Um, it it looks, uh, it's like a cover based shooter. You can hide behind stuff like cover, bah, bah. anyways, kind of like Gears of War. And it, it's a spacey vibe, like Halo. Um, so yeah, if you if that all that sounds good to you, you should try Vanquish. My words are not coming out. It just tries good, yeah. Try Vanquish. Um, the next game here is What Remains of Edith Finch. Uh, this is a walking simulator. Um, if you played a walking simulator, you've played this. No, I'm just kidding. This is a really good story though. It was up for best story. Um, whatever year it came out, I forgot. It might have been 2017. It might have been 2018. I don't remember. But uh. Very good story. Explore a house, learn the backstory of a bunch of people and stuff like that. Very fun. Uh, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. I uh, just finished this game. I'm working on the Pokédex now. Um, I've been a huge Pokemon fan since the beginning. Uh, I started with Pokemon Red and played every single generation up until now. And so I was super excited when this came out. A lot of people were down on it because of the catching mechanics and stuff like that. Um, I will say the catching mechanics in this game are not consistent. Either that or I'm just doing it wrong because I straight up raged at a ditto. The ditto, he just keeps bouncing back and forth and I couldn't get my ball. Like, he'd be on this side of the screen and I'd flip it that way and then my ball flies this direction. I'm like, what the hell? I'm getting super mad, you know? And then I get really angry and I flip it really hard and the thing flips up and hits me in the face. This is all on video, by the way, if you want to go check my Let's Play of this. Episode 22, if you want to see myself get hit in the face. But anyways, um, I digress. This is a fun game. I like it. Um, uh, I, I like the direction Pokemon's going. I really do. Um, the good thing about not having to battle every single Pokemon you're trying to catch is it doesn't take as long. You can just throw some Pokeballs at them, you know? And, uh, but anyways, if there's a if there's a legendary or like a like a special Pokemon that's story based or something, you do have to battle that Pokemon first. Um, you have to beat it completely, and then you can try to catch it. 
which Mewtwo is whooping my ass every single time I try. So I'm leveling up my Eevee. I got my Eevee and a little Pokeball Plus walking around with it at work and on the treadmill and stuff. Um, yeah, so we're going to take down that Mewtwo and catch it eventually. But yeah, very fun game. Um, is that all the games I've beaten? I beat Christmas Stories. Um, it was pretty fun. It's like a point-and-click adventure with lots of puzzles. It has stories. It actually has pretty good-looking cutscenes in it. Um, it's basically the Nutcracker uh, story. And then you also do like I Spy stuff. Like they show you like a whole bunch of stuff in one picture, and you have to find whatever it tells you to find. Um, so that was fun. I also beat. Is that all I beat? I beat a bunch of stuff for Halloween that I didn't talk about. Like Fatal Frame. I didn't. Well, I didn't beat Fatal Frame, I guess. So I won't talk about that. But uh, Claire. I beat Claire. Claire. Claire was good. I did a whole video on that though. Now I'm just rambling. So I'm gonna talk about. I'm just gonna tell you what I'm working on now. I'm currently playing through Enslaved Odyssey to the West. I'm doing a let's play of that. Go check it out. Um, and I'm also working on Forza Horizon 4, um, and Final, Fan Final Fantasy 6, and I'm going to pick up, uh, Octopath Traveler again. I want to finish that game. And I'm also about, oh yeah, I'm working through Resident Evil 6 with, uh, Aerodontis here on YouTube, so go check him out, A-E-R-O-D-O-N-T-I-S, Aerodontis. Uh, we're going to do a co-op Let's Play of that game. And uh, we're also playing NCAA Football 14. We're going to do like a like a double dynasty thing. It's going to be fun. But uh, I'm just rambling now. So I appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.